So, if you clicked on this video, you likely have a skill in Roblox development, like building, scripting, modeling, or GFX. But you're not just satisfied having a skill. You want to start earning money from your skills. Well, you've found the exact place to start doing that. I've made tens of thousands from my development skills on Roblox, and today, I'm going to share with you the four best ways to earn more money than you could even imagine from your skills. And by the end, I'm going to teach you a tip that you've never heard anywhere else, but you can use it to earn tons of money from your skills very quickly. So you ready to stop waiting and start earning? Let's dive in. First, if you're a Roblox developer, you already know the tip I'm about to share with you, but pay attention because what I'm about to teach you can change your perspective on game development forever. The first method is to make games. Roblox games are the best way to earn tons of money on the platform. And many developers, even small developers, earn millions of Robux with this method. But there's a caveat. You'll want to make games, but not just any games. I'm about to tell you the best type of game to create to earn a ton of Robux, especially if you're a new developer. See, most developers make a fatal mistake when they get started in Roblox development. You have big dreams to make this gigantic project, like the next Jailbreak, the next Bloxburg, or the next Royale High. And you might even get started, but then you and your team, if you have one, they lose motivation and they quit because they realize that the project is just too big to complete it at your current skill level. This is the sad truth about trying to make big, massive projects first. In the hit video, Why Most Roblox Devs Quit, I shared the solution to this problem. Make simple games first. If you want to succeed in Roblox development, make simple games first. Don't even think about making your dream projects first. Those massive games you want to make with the detailed graphics, the complex systems, and all the animations you can imagine. Forget them until you make 10 to 20 small projects. Why? This way, you can build up slowly in difficulty and match your current skill level in Roblox development. But you can also use these projects to monetize with efficiency and start earning funds that you can then use to pay devs to make your future projects later. And a lot of people think, oh, do you just mean make simulators? No, this could be anything. You could make hot potato. You could make a game of freeze tag. Anything that is simple, small, and maybe has a bit of monetization so you can earn from it will count as a simple game. If you're watching this, start making a simple game today. All right, you've just listened to me tell you about games and why it's not the best idea to make massive games when you get started in Roblox development. But that doesn't mean you can't work for people who make massive games. Believe me, if you're watching this, you could work for front page developers. I'm serious. And with the method I'm about to teach you, you can start promoting yourself and get your work out there and start earning money or Robux very fast. This is to take commissions. Commissions are where you promote yourself and you allow people to reach out to you and say, hey, I'd like to pay you to work on my game and make this. Usually you center these around one skill and people reach out to you asking you to build a building for them or make some medieval models, some swords, or maybe script some systems for their tycoon. But it doesn't matter what your skill is. If you have any skill in development at all, you can start taking commissions. And you might be thinking, but why would anyone want to hire me? I'm not that good. False. If you're even watching this video, you are a very serious developer. You're someone who is likely hardworking. And if you're watching this, that means you'd probably be a very good fit for someone to hire you. First, you can use the Talent Hub to create a simple portfolio you can link to people. You can also use Car to create your own custom site or another site builder like that. Second, promote yourself on social media. Get on sites like X or YouTube or Discord and start promoting yourself. You can share your work in Discord servers such as Smarty Devs, join below to start earning and people will reach out to you with commissions. As you post more and more, you'll start to notice that people will reply to you and reach out to you in your DMs. And that's the point where you start taking commissions. Now, watch my other video on commissions if you wanna learn more about this. Click the video in the top right hand corner and I'll see you there. Let's move on to the next point. Now, as you're watching the next few moments, you're gonna notice that this point is very related to the last one. 
but there's a key difference I'm going to share with you. This method is to sell your assets on a site where you can start to earn from them. There's many sites out there like Gumroad where you can make your own store, Clearly Dev, where you can sell assets to a top marketplace filled with Roblox developers looking to buy stuff from people like you. Now the key difference between selling your assets and taking commissions is that when you sell your assets, you get to earn while you sleep. You just heard me explain to you commissions. And you can probably see that when you take commissions, you have to be sitting there working on things for people, talking to your clients back and forth. It's good, but you have to spend a lot of time in order to do it. It's a constant task that requires your attention and focus. When you sell assets, you could be lying in bed and an order could come in at 2 a.m. someone buying your low poly tree pack on Clearly Dev. You post the asset once on a site and you continue earning from it forever. Imagine how great it would feel to wake up and see $50, $100, $200 come in fully passively because you put out assets and other products that people can buy from you. Amazing, isn't it? Well, it gets better. I'm about to tell you a method that can help you to make money in all the ways I've just explained to you and earn even more on top of it. Yes, this is the secret I hinted at as you were listening to the start of this video. This is to make dev content. As you've been watching this video, you've been learning a lot of different lessons. And this type of content is something that is probably a bit rare to you. It's called dev content. Dev content is where you share lessons you're learning in development, or you show yourself and your friends making a game, like the series Six Devs Make a Game Without Communicating. It's gotten millions of views for Rodev and others. Or you can make videos like mine, where I show people how to develop Roblox games in studio, and I do a lot of videos that have advice, where I teach you how to earn from your skills and make your experience on Roblox the best it can possibly be. This is dev content, and the new wave of Roblox creators coming in are dev content creators. See, this isn't just a normal type of content. This is one of the biggest opportunities in Roblox history. If you've listened this far in this video, you are a very dedicated Roblox developer, and you could make some seriously good dev content, and you'd likely build a very large audience if you were to put in the work. You might be able to get a thousand subscribers, 10,000, 50,000. Does that sound crazy to you? Well, it's not. This niche is severely untapped. There's not that much competition, but not for long. People are rushing through the floodgates to get into dev content. So if you want to do it, you need to start now this might be the most important tip I could share with you at all. This won't just change your Roblox career, this could change your life. Building an audience allows you to reach hundreds of thousands of people or even millions and earn in a myriad of ways. If you build a dev channel like the one you're watching now, SmartyRBX, do you realize that you could promote games to them? You could promote commissions to them? You could promote assets that you sell on a website like Gumroad, Clearly Dev, or another site? A Roblox dev channel can become your core brand that branches out into all the ways that you earn from your Roblox development skills and knowledge. So if you're watching this and you're ready to get started in dev content, post one piece of content today. And if you watch this far, I want to tell you something. You have a lot of potential, but it's worthless unless you use it. That's the truth. So take action at all costs. I don't want you to walk away from this not gaining anything. Because if you don't take action, you aren't gonna gain any Robux, any money, any results. So that's why you need to take action. And I'm telling you, if you've watched this far, preferably do everything I've just taught you in this video. Make games, take commissions, sell your assets, teach people with dev content, and do everything you can to change your Roblox career. If you do them all with relentless force, dedication, and a good amount of time, it's very likely that you will succeed. You can watch the video on screen to learn content creation secrets that can help you create dev content on your channel. See you there. By the way, this stream was my face reveal, so enjoy.